Hi there. I want to tell you about Seabrook, Texas today. It's one of the favorite place, my favorite places on earth. It's a really small, quaint town. Been here for a long time. It's a fisherman's village and it is a boating and fishing extravaganza. There's so much to do in Seabrook and it's such a tiny little place. It is, Seabrook is quietly located along the Galveston Bay and it is southeast of Houston, southeast of Houston. It's also just minutes from Galveston, Texas. So you live in the middle of everything. And not only that, NASA Johnson Space Center is right here in Seabrook. That's right. Houston, we got a problem, is fixed right here in our hometown that we live now. That's right, the Johnson Space Center. Houston, we don't have a problem. It's right here. So that brings a lot of interest into Houston. And another thing about Seabrook is that it's a true boating community. And one of the wonder, one of the wonderful places to go to, one of the wonderful places to go to in Seabrook is called Barge 295. So if you've lived here a long time, it used to be called the Turtle Club. And now it's Barge 295. But the fact the, the interesting thing about Barge 295 is it is a barge floating on the water and being used to give you <clears throat> Barge 295 is a floating bar and grill, you might say. Seabrook, I mean, <clears throat> Barge 295 is a floating bar on Clear Lake, Texas. It's really neat. It used to be called the Turtle Club. Now it's called bar Barge 295. And they've extended all to the grassy area where the parking lot is. Barge, it offers two levels of complete seafood and Texas style lobster food, steak, no. Barge 295 is a floating bar and grill. That's right, a floating bar and grill. It is on a barge, so it's really neat. You are not just looking at the water, you're on the water, and it has two levels. It's really cool, it now also has a outside venue where bands play. There's so many bars now that you have two levels and then you have an outside, so if the barge is shaking too much, you have solid ground. And then there is the outside venue, which is on a grassy knoll, and it has a built stage for the bands and two bars out there. You can get great food at Barge 295, and you can sip cocktails and enjoy beer or whatever is great. But you can also, you can also see the sunsets and the sunrise on the lake at Barge 295. It's a must see for everyone that comes to see Seabrook, Texas. Another great thing about Seabrook, Texas is that it has 13 miles of hike and bike trails. That's right. There is 13 miles of hike and bike trails and it is actually near the, it's actually on the property of NASA. And they also have, it goes, it extends 13 miles, so it goes pretty far. Another great thing about Seabrook is that it has a 13 mile hike and bike trail. It has a 13 mile hike and bike trail. You can see wildlife on this hike and bike trail like armadillos and deer and 
You can also see white-tailed deer and alligators on this 13-mile hike and bike trail in Seabrook, Texas. It's great. It's a great place to get fit, and it's a great place to learn how to run fast if you're getting chased by an alligator. <clears throat> so another thing that's interesting about Seabrook is that it is only 11 miles on the water. It's only 11 miles long, so it's not that big. As I've said, it's tiny. Seabrook is 11 miles of fresh and salt water along the Galveston Bay and Clear Lake. It is, uh, Seabrook's waterfront, Seabrook and its waterfront contains four marinas. So Seabrook is 11 miles of fresh and salt water along the coast. So Seabrook is 11 miles of both fresh water and salt water home fronts. Seabrook is a 11 mile waterfront area, both salt and fresh water. Also, it is Seabrook, Seabrook, Seabrook is home to four marinas. I really think there's more than that. I always see more, they're all around. So Seabrook is home to four marinas and also has the five-star Seabrook Marina where I just received my boat, where I just got my boat. Seabrook is a wonderful waterfront place. It's home to four marinas and one of the best ones I just got my boat out of, I just got my boat out of a couple weeks ago is the Five Star Seabrook Marina. It's a wonderful place to take your boat and OJ Marine will help fix your boat up if you have issues like needing a bottom job and other things. I'm not quite sure what else. So Seabrook is also the home of the Lakewood Yacht Club and the Lakewood Yacht Club is a very distinguished place. There is many, many high dollar families that have been members and are members and have their boats there. So Lakewood Yacht Club is a place to be and it's really great on Thursdays when you go for dinner and they have they have half they have discounts on drinks and food. Seabrook is also the home of Lakewood Yacht Club. Lakewood Yacht Club is a really prestigious area where a lot of high dollar families hold their boat and come and eat. Thursdays are discount day and for food and for for food and for drinks and they have dollar tacos they have fish tacos on thursdays as well it's a wonderful place to eat it's a wonderful place to go and enjoy the day you are a member of lakewood yacht club and they only allow members in the lakewood yacht club it's quite quite phenomenal and it has beautiful yachts parked in their, in their marina out behind. They have, uh, Lakewood Yacht Club has amazing, oh, I'm doing it again. Oh my God, I gotta do this all over. <laughs> okay, so I was looking at the screen and not the camera, so I've gotta go back. So I don't know where it was that I started looking at the screen, but I need to get back to this. So, hi, I'm Martha Bennett. I'm gonna talk about Seabrook, Texas today, which is 13 miles. Seabrook, 
Seabrook is, it sits quietly among the Galveston Bay and Clear Lake. And Seabrook, Seabrook sits quietly on the Galveston Bay and Clear Lake. And it's southeast of Houston. Also, Seabrook, Texas is where we have, Seabrook, Texas is where NASA Space Center, Houston, I have a problem, but we don't have a problem because it's here and a lot of attention gets taken from, a lot of attention gets on that. There is a lot of people who move to Seabrook area to work at NASA Johnson Space Center. So that is one of our greatest attractions and it's also a working wonderful place for our astronauts. And our astronauts are live here mostly. This is where they train and uh, it's just an amazing, it's amazing. Seabrook also is 11 miles along the, Go the Galveston Bay and the Clear Lake shores that is both fresh and saltwater, waterfront, and it is home to four marinas, the Five Star Marina, Seabrook Marina. There is the Lakewood Yacht Club, which the Lakewood Yacht Club is one of the prestigious yacht clubs that is around, and some of the presidents have been members, and some of the wealthiest people in sports and politics have had their boat, yacht, I mean, have had some of the most some of the most influential, prestigious people have been members of the Lakewood. Some of the most prestigious, some of the most prestigious and wealthy people in politics and movies have and sports have lived here, and they have also been members of the Lakewood Yacht Club, and they also have stored their yachts at the Lakewood Yacht Club. It's a wonderful place. On Thursdays, they have discounts and tacos. It's a great time to go and mingle at the bar. And only, only members are allowed at Lakewood Yacht Club. They have wonderful facilities to extend to everyone. And there's lots of parties and lots of events and lots of meetings that take place at the Yacht, Lakewood Yacht Club. It's basically a true, it's basically a true historical location in Seabrook, the Lakewood Yacht Club. It also, they also hold many functions throughout the year at the Lakewood Yacht Club. And just so you know, Seabrook is in the third largest boating community in the nation. We have around Clear Lake, four or five cities, and those all make up the third largest boating community in the nation. Yes, it's in the third largest boating community in the nation. It's so strange because you would never know and you pass little towns and get into another one right when you're going around the Clear Lake. And it's wonderfully designed. It has bars and restaurants. It has sailing clubs. It can, you have boating clubs. You can take trips on the water for private moonlight dinners. There's so much to do here. And Seabrook is also a place where you can rent jet skis and have a black, have a great time on Clear Lake. It's really a great little city. One of my other favorite places about Seabrook is the historic area of Seabrook. Okay, so one of my, one of the great things that Seabrook has is the historic district. So it has a little area that is really old So there's a historical district or explore the historic Seabrook where you can stay at a bed and breakfast. There's one called the Pelican's Nest. And it has older homes that were built in the 40s and 50s. It is a really quaint little, little area, part of a Seabrook. And some of it is on the water and some of it is not. 
and you can fish there on Main Street. You can go fishing for free any time of day, any, well, not nighttime, it's usually not good, but you can go fishing anytime on Main Street there in Seabrook.